Another day of strong Santa Ana winds, as we said, whipped across our area, kicking up the inevitable wildfires. Southern California Edison shutting off power for some today in hopes of preventing more fires. Matthew Seedorf has more. He says it's already been a busy couple of days for firefighters. Intense moments Saturday in Harupa Valley. Firefighters battling a line of flames as nearby residents watch. The fire fueled by dry air and strong Santa Ana winds. Red flag warnings issued Friday and Saturday across Southern California. Winds gusting more than 50 miles per hour. Dust from the now contained airport fire causing poor air quality in Orange County. The wind has been in some locations really strong and uh, in other locations less so. Southern California Edison issuing what they call public safety power shutoffs. Midday, there's about 8,000 customers without power. Another 98,000 customers across Southern California where we are considering this. As strong winds whip across the Inland Empire and San Gabriel Mountains. We want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to reduce the risk of a wildfire. Hot spots flaring up in the bridge fire right now. The 39 is shut down. They're making drivers turn around. I, I like camping, so uh, if it's closed, then it's an inconvenience for me. Ida Hoya was trying to go camping in Crystal Lake, but can't get there. Sky Fox above visible flames Friday night at the bridge fire. What are you going to do now? Look for some place else to go. It's very, very dry here. In Hacienda Heights Friday, several horses rescued from another fire. Fire started here on this ridge and we have a stables with about 50 horses. Two days of dry weather and gusty winds causing issues across Southern California. Matthew Sedorf reporting Fox 11 News.